Next up, Topps Chrome, a half case, draft the teams. There is the break widget for what's coming up. There are the teams. <laughs> oh, 12th, they'll be far Yeah. Oh, was it 11 and 12? I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So this is 12? So should yep. I do the bottom four boxes? Yep. Long boxes. <laughs> I didn't even look. I figured that we would have moved it on the widget. I never even didn't even consider it. Not my bad. <laughs> I was drafted nonstop. <laughs> There's the bottom four boxes. We'll save those top four for number eleven next. Yo, bait switch. Now, nobody remember that that happened of, in regards to whatever you get in whatever break. But that's how it would that's how it would have been. How we always do it. Um, no, no one hit the super factor bounty, I don't think so. Yeah, that's still going. As long as you break chrome, I'll do that. Uh, what was I going to say? I did spend a lot of time on the two breaks that aren't filling, though, so that's that's why I supposed to be drafted because I woke up late and I was like, I want to figure out optic choice and I want to figure out a mosaic team break. So I was kind of scouring the recent trends of mosaic singles and trying to price those out. And uh, only 20 teams sold, so I failed on that. <clears throat> yep, Sterling on Friday. I saw the Sterling boxes. You're going to love them on me. Oh, really? They're gorgeous. Is it the same, all the mini boxes and all that? Yeah, it's the same crappy. Same setup? I mean, that doesn't bother me that much. They're like a dark blue... Uh, there he is. Thing. Joe Welch, Robert Bass. And a freshman flash. Yeah, the card design I thought was really good this year, too. Yeah, they're going to be awesome. What I saw on the sell sheet. Is the checklist out? I haven't even looked. I haven't looked either. That's Curious like two days see. from now. It wasn't this morning. Tim, you could send an email if we did it the way that it was about to happen, because that would have been the wrong. These are the right boxes that you're supposed to get. But... Shit. Sean Murphy. Jay Welch. We fixed the glitch. What glitch? Oh, you know, just the... the oh, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that movie. Tim, are the Rockies going to win the NL West? Are they real? Are they for real? Or are the Padres going to win the NL West? Corbin, blue refractor. Yeah. Did you see that? Charlie Blackman's batting 500. Oh, really? No, I didn't. Has he been playing all year? I don't know. I don't watch the Rockies. Carter Keyboom. Negative. Oh, Tony. I've been turning off the Dodger games halfway through already. I'm already in mid-season form. Yeah. What I didn't going? even, like, turn on the Brewer game yesterday. Jordan. Keen Wong. UCC oh, after Giants. Oh, yeah. How the Cardinals been doing? Cardinals are going to start again on Friday. Kyle Lewis. That means Gavin Lux is right behind there too, I think. They always they're always right next to each other. They're gonna have to play like twenty double headers to get the games. Yeah, there's no way that they're 
or the Marlins are going to get to the same number of games as everybody else. I don't think. Yeah, that is, that'll be interesting if they can go by win percentage or something. Harper Refractor. Yeah, how many did the Marlins miss? Like five or something? Tim Lopes or Lopez? I don't remember that name. Tron Javolta. Refractor Auto. Yeah, I was I was wondering the same thing, Deadpool. Davy Lopes. Mm. There's a lot of Lopes. Former Brewers manager. Logan Webb. Rock one zone. Oh, yeah. Two words for you. Two words. What's up? Pine tar is the worst. I never mess with pine tar. I don't know. I mean, I know what it is, kind of, but never personally pine tarred my bat. The only thing worse than pine tar is like synthetic pine tar. Mm. It's not actually like tacky usually. It's... <laughs> yeah. You know what's fun though? Putting like Elmer's glue all over your hands and letting it dry and peeling them off. Or Ravello. I used to do that when I was a kid. I love that. Mississippi. Yeah, I need to do that. You know what? I, oh my God. I just remembered something awesome. When I worked at the golf course restaurant as a dishwasher, the water, the hot water was like boiling hot. Uh -huh. like, come, like sprayer thing or whatever and the golf course the, all the tables had these candles you know like a little white candle things and they'd get all like they you'd have to put fresh candles in when it got down to the bottom and one night the manager brought back like nine billion candles and he was like you need to wash all these or whatever <clears throat> and so i filled the sink with like boiling hot water and threw all the things in the candles in there uh-huh and all the wax that was left at the bottom of them, you know, melted out into the water. <laughs> I, I dipped my hand in the water and pulled it out, and I had like a wax coating on my hand. Yeah. And I just let it, I would do that and let it dry, and then do it and let it dry. <laughs> and I had like, my hand just was a giant wax hand after, you know, an hour or so. Oh, yeah. Good. Man, that was fun. That does seem satisfying. Jeez, that was like 22 years ago. Yeah, right. Back then it was like $4, four dollars four seventy five an hour probably, minimum wage. Kyle Lewis and Gavin Lux again. Base. You got fired as a dishwasher? That's tough to do. I saw people get fired from that job as dishwashers. It was usually because they crashed the, they get drunk and crash the golf cart. Yeah. Or just not show up. There are certain things you can get fired just for, yeah, not not going to work or. Being high or drunk at work. That was the usual, usually. Yeah. Thing. If you showed up to work and were not. There are not a lot of performance based dishwasher no. firings, I don't think.
That was stressful though. They'd have like these big busy yeah. nights and it was like never ending dishes coming. And then the worst is the end of the night, the cooks bring all the like impossible to wash, like oh, the the hands and stuff. Things. Yeah. Zach yeah. Gallon. Big subtle Tim. I used to get I used to hate the cooks. Because for them it was like their end of the night. They're like done. Yeah. Know? They're about to be off. They just come like dump all this crap on my dishwashing area, you know, my whatever where you set dishes like it's nothing. And they're like, Yeah, woo, we're off tonight. You're thinking, oh, I gotta become a cook. Yeah. Colin Moran, Prism and Refractor. I never have been like outright fired. I was once. My first job was all but a firing. <laughs> Who's our great them all? Negative. The only job I got fired from was the one that well, I got laid off because the guy was too much of a wimp to actually. Fire oh yeah. Me. Yeah, it was. It was at a wood shop. I, have I talked about this? Probably. Yeah, I remember the wood shop. And I just, I had never, like, had experience doing that. I don't think I was particularly good at it. Were you a screen wave? And he didn't fire me an AJ Pocket Fractor. But they just kept, he was like, yeah, I don't think we really have anything for you to do, you know, the next yeah. forever. So. Your life. <laughs> I tried to get fired. Yeah. That was the guy at the bar where he, I told the story a million yeah. times. Yeah. The Niners and Raiders were playing on Monday Night Football, and he just had me bartending, and there was a full dining room. And it was just me and a cook. And I called him in his house, and I was like, you got to come down here. Like, just, it's impossible. I can't serve these people. There's like 100 people here, and it's just me. And he was like all mad at me. And then he told somebody that I was like lazing, like I was working really slowly that night. And I was like, yeah, because I was pissed at you. Yeah. You ever get so busy at a job that you just give up? You're like, there's no, there's no point in trying. It's yeah. Possible. You just do it. You can put one foot in front of the other, and yeah, that's like, th that's it. What am I gonna run my butt around the place just so that four of the fifty people can get served? If I don't, then three of the fifty people. Like it does. It's not a. There's no difference. There's no measurable difference in the quality of my service. Logan Allen, purple rookie autograph. Tim. <laughs> yeah. I know, me too. Every once in a while, I get a burst of energy to do some work, but. Bichette. Yeah, it's I mean, weird because, like, fired. even, you know, the amount of work and stuff now here, it's never, it's not the same as, like, when I was a bank teller, we were never super busy, but the times you were busy and there's people waiting in line and stuff, you feel it, you know? Oh, yeah. It's, like, palpable that they've been standing there for a certain amount of time. Or Oh, this is our first, or my first, Akiyama. I don't remember if Sam has pulled him. I don't, yeah, I don't think I got one either. E. Siegel, nice one. He's got that, uh, you know, similar batting stance to Otani. Is that the most obviously photoshopped? Uh... Hmm. Maybe it's not that obvious, I guess. I don't think that that was a Reds jersey initially, though. Rodrigo? Robert. Oh, really, Burn? Yeah, I'm still not 100% there on knowing which cards are really good in the soccer. That's what I was thinking at it. The helmet seems different.
the best was when I worked at the state and I had my daughter was born and I was off for a couple months for the or a month for the paternity leave and then I took extra time off that I had. Mm -hmm. I was out for so long that they had like basically reassigned all my work to other people, you know, because. And I got back and they just didn't have any work for me. And they're like, yeah, we just don't, like, just, I don't know, hang out. I just come into work and just sit there for eight hours and go home for, that probably lasted like six months. More Sean Murphy. Yeah. That was. There was act- nothing. Yeah. yeah. The, actually, the job that I had right before this, like, they were still kind of figuring out what the position was going to be and stuff. And oh, yeah, there were lots of days where like the only assignment was going to get lunch or something, you know, you're going to think I'm joking, but I actually did the, the stanza nap under the desk. I set up some folder thingies to the side so I could get under there. So you couldn't see me and I would just sleep under my desk for like an hour and no one ever came by. Yeah. I'd have the headphones in just listening to, podcast or baseball game or something and yeah trying hard to make it look like i was like cleaning my desk which didn't have anything on it because i never did anything or i started to leave like 30 minutes early like because i was like what is why nobody even knows i'm here what's the point i'd leave like 10 minutes early 30, 20 minutes early 30 minutes early no one ever said anything i was like eh. see how far i could push this just start leaving at lunch no one even noticed <laughs> I'd say in the average week, I get about 20 minutes of actual work done. Um, I'm sure that I have Finnish ancestors, Rasmus, but I'm not like... I'm not a lot Finnish or anything. Then I eventually got to work again. I had to actually do stuff, but that was a nice like six-month period. That would be rough to be folded back into doing the actual work. It got kind of boring, to be honest. The days are long when you don't have work to do. Yeah, that's true. You're like, oh, man, I am ready for lunch. And you look at the clock, and it's like 9.40. I remember so many days like that where it was like the 10 o'clock break, 12 o'clock lunch, 2 o'clock break, you know, 4 o'clock go home. It was just make it each two-hour block was like 800 years. Yeah. Yeah, because you probably couldn't even get that much messing around done that point yeah well because the thing is if i went to like other people's cubicles or you know desks to like talk or whatever then i get in trouble not in trouble but you know they'd be like get out of here like yeah and you couldn't just like surf the internet or whatever for they had the internet like ooh, nice tatis tatis prism see russia back then they monitored the internet usage and you get like talked to and stuff Mm. Yeah, I so always I wondered if my jobs did that, but never got to talked to. And this would have this was like two thousand nine, so like even smartphones weren't yeah you know, like they are now. Yeah, it was boring. Cabrera negative, Jordan eighty five. Yeah, it seems like a dream, and it you know like it'd be awesome, but you're right, it is some long days. Yeah, it was. Actually, that's about when I first got back into cards. I remember buying like some Series 2 or something boxes and opening them and like trying to figure out what was going on. A green AJ Puck. Look at that. A's green. That's cool. <laughs> J-Welch. Yeah, it does look good. 30, no, 93 of 99. 93 of 99. Yeah, that would be weird to be like, to have access to people's internet histories and stuff. Did you see the uh, new uh, microphone? To- totally mic unrelated, shirt? Sam, but uh, do, do, is there anybody monitoring the Wi Fi here? Or? Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. What did you say? Oh, is anyone into the new Microsoft Flight Simulator that's coming out? Those game, that game always cracked me up. Yeah. Just 
flying like on a computer game like and it's just supposed real to be time. Like, real time you're flying yeah they have all kinds of like they have like truck over the road truck driving sims and train sims Trout refractor base refractor Tim yeah I love a good trout refractor Mm-hmm. I still need a 2012. That's the only one I'm missing. I have every 13 through 20 now. Farm simulator, I can... Some simulators I can understand because you got the crops and the whatever, but, like, the, the flying one, like, you just... Can you just go on Google Earth and, like, look around at stuff? Jalen Davis. Well, yeah, most of it, you're just looking at sky, right? Yeah. UCCF. Wait, what happens when you miss commercial breaks on the radio? Like, is whoever's hosting or doing the the actual content just is like, uh, okay, I'm just going to keep going, I guess. Or is it just like dead air? One time I watched a YouTube video of like the drive from my hometown to like where my grandma lived up a, along the lake. Have you ever done that, cool. Sam? You ever seen that? Munoz. Sierra Chef. They have like every mile of American road that you can watch somebody drive. Dead air. Wow. I have listened to a lot of radio over the years. And I don't, I've noticed like when they start the commercial late or it over, you know, runs over the mm -hmm. whatever. I've never heard like dead air like that. Yeah, that'll uh, get you fired. I definitely have had some, seen some prolonged dead air in our local rinky dink radio station. Mm, yeah, goat simulator. The last box. <laughs> well, I was going to come in later and do maybe like the, all four breaks that aren't filling, but they're not filling. I don't know how that's going to work. Hopefully we get some late night or late uh, evening of arrivals. Breaking simulator. Yeah. I know. Just like real breaking. Yeah, there's like uh, the breaking simulator for Prism is way harder than the breaking simulator for Chrome. It's like your ship. Use the away. button you're like pull you like pull and pull and then you have to grab the grab the virtual knife and cut the pack and 30 minute wow that's tough <laughs> you're like and this cloud is gonna move about a quarter inch look at that the next oh nice Robert Jay Welch, Tom Eshelman autograph as well for Tim. Yeah, that is true. The pitcher batting does give you a real sense of like the lineup is turning over or back to the one spot. I have no idea. Yeah, for some reason, that's one thing that really bothers me is when broadcasts don't have what number the guy is in the order. Some of them do, you know, in the little widget, but. Kind of doesn't matter. Kyle Lewis and Gavin Lux. Yeah, it doesn't really. It's very 2020. It's sort of like how whatever day we're at doesn't matter. What month we're on doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. It's August. Whatever. Same as everything else. <laughs> yeah. Especially summer here. Yeah. June, July, August, September. This is ex Every day is exactly the same. That's one thing that I think is weird for my psyche. That like there's never, every every day looks exactly the same. Terrible. There's no clouds, there's no rain, there's no change in... I mean, it gets... Yeah. Like, People say they get seasonal depression from like like when there's not enough sunlight and stuff like that, but I, when it can rain one day and not, or it's cold, or, you know, like, that's way better for my... Yeah. My mood and like, oh, 100 degrees, 100 degrees, 100 degrees, 100 degrees every day. 
Like a hazy, Sun's up. super hot. Yeah. Archie Bradley to 75. But I do understand people getting it in the winter up north and stuff too. It's like dark. It, yeah. It's dark like 16 hours a day and cold See, every that's, day. That's the other thing. I don't like the long days. I like. I want it to be dark now because it's like, all right, this day is almost over. And then you kind of wind down. You got dinner. Mm -hmm. What is like oh, 8 o'clock? It's like, what is, what is this day ever going to end? Yeah, the winter here is awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. Robert. Fall. Fall is obviously great, too. Yeah. Fall is amazing here. Oregon, yeah. <sighs> October to, like, February is great. Here. Mm-hmm. March even isn't so maybe. bad. Yeah, it's just the allergies for me. It gets rough. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm sneezing my face off all the time. Brock Burke. Tim. Yeah, like October, November, especially November in Wisconsin. It's like the best in the world. It's so good. Yeah, where could those are some short days. Where can I go that has the shortest days? I want to wake up and eat, do a little work, and then be like, well, that's day's over. And I'm gonna watch some Seinfeld and go to bed. Well, the problem is the short days also come with the long days. It's the same, yeah. you know. Bichette. Where it's dark uh, 24 hours a day and then light 24 hours a day in the summer. Yeah, that's no good. I'm pretty much ready to wrap it up around 2 p.m. That's a good full day for me. I'm barely even functioning until yeah. 2 p.m. Urkiti. Nice Gavin Lux refractor, too. Tim. Oh, yeah, Fargo. I never watched Fargo. Yeah, the new one has Chris Rock in it. Whoa, weird. I think. I thought that's what I saw in the commercial. I liked the TV. I like the movie a lot, obviously. But I like the TV Fargo's too. Jordan, James Marvel, refractor. Maybe Marvel. I don't know. Butchwax. Lots of refractor. Sticky top loaders. When yeah, the corners I, are stuck together like that, it's so frustrating. I uh, years ago, whenever that show was first on, I everyone was saying to watch it. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch that, and I never did. I forgot about it. Yeah, the, and I think FX has like a really weird. Are they on Hulu, maybe, or something? There, I remember their streaming used to be really strange. Like you couldn't get it anywhere but the FX app or something. I'm watching Curb Your Enthusiasm again now. I'm on season three. Maybe after that. Ben's a big Curb fan. He freaked. That's yeah. why he barked when he mentioned cool. it. I'll watch it later, Ben. Not right now. <laughs> I forgot the one where he gets his teeth, his top front two teeth knocked out and... Uh, because he didn't go to dinner at the dentist's house and then they have, they have to use that dentist. He gives him like big rabbit teeth, <laughs> like extra large <laughs> temporary teeth. He looks so funny. Toro, Marvel, Urquidy, Burke, Eshelman, Munoz, Davis Purple, Ravello, Harvey, Murphy, Akiyama, base. 
Uh, Logan Allen purple. Jake Rogers. Gallon. Allen. Ravella. Logan Webb. Tim Lopes. It could be Lopez, but... Davey Lopes was Lopes, so... I don't know. Wong and Murphy. And all the top rookies in parallels. Gavin Lux Refractor. Robert Bass. There's a Robert Refractor. Love those base rookie refractors. Trout Refractor. Tatis Prism. All the 85s. Puck Rookie Refractor. Corbin Blue. A couple more Roberts. <laughs> 